Good morning, Anya. Good morning. Another guest today, Kristen Berg, has remarked and showed more gallantry than me by saying you look great. I mean, you really do. You're <laughs> fit and healthy, and basically you've come out of incarceration, haven't you, to a certain extent? Yes, I, I spend a lot of time working in a studio, but after that I travel a lot. Mm. And meeting with a lot of people, um, it's, it's wonderful mm. to hear what the music means to them. And it, it moves me so much that I want to get back to the studio again. Mm. But I mean, the, the, the image of the, of the musician, the LPs and the creativity, oh, it's all so glamorous, but actually the reality is what? You get up at <laughs> seven in the morning and think, oh, what can I do? I mean, what, is, what would be your day in the middle of that 20 months of working on the LP? What would it be? Um, basically, I had to discipline myself to go to the studio, and I'll sit at the piano and work. Are you on your own, then? Yes, when I'm composing, right. I would be on my own. So uh, there are a lot of uh, hours on your own, but when you um, write a melody, it's, it's all worthwhile. You've left one thing out. Before you went into the studio, did you feed the cat mush mush? Of course. <laughs> yes. Okay. A combination of milk and biscuits? Milk. Milk. So you were happy about Mush Mush. Mm -hmm. Did you have block? Did you ever get the block when you go into the studio on your own? What am I doing here? There what are days, there? yeah, there are days. But those are the days that you have to work the hardest and stay in the studio because mm. uh, eventually all that hard work will pay off. Yes. You talked about the reaction from people, and that's always interesting. I mean, you, you get strange letters and reactions from people. What, what springs to your mind has been the most extraordinary reaction? how they're so moved. Mm. Um, if it's uh, making somebody happy or getting them through a difficult time, it's, uh, I find that so fascinating mm. by listening to the music. I know you hate being categorized, who likes it in fact, but you, you particularly hate it. What do you think you've tapped into with people from the letters you get and the reaction you get? Is it relaxation? or? I think uh, being able to let people um, uh, experience something very personal to themselves while listening mm. to music that seems to evolve from it and I enjoy this even though I don't think of it when I'm in the studio mm. I, I just work on the music the melodies. People read such deep things into you don't they and they assume that Enya has wandered through the mists the Gaelic mists and the shrouds and the monasteries and she's wandered back into this sepulchral hall and written the song I mean, it's not quite like that, is it? It's not quite like that, but um, I am a very private person. And um, I like to keep it like that. It's important to the music. Is this anathema to you, what's happening here, if you're a very private person? I like to talk about it, but as far as um, uh, when I'm at home or what I do, I tend to keep that very mm. private. You've worked hard. Will you, do you play hard? Will you have a holiday? Oh, yes. After this, I'm going to have a break before I go into the studio to One begin. personal question. Are you a sun and sand type or a wander around the big city type? I'm more for the countryside, the walks on the mountains mm. and having um, space. Mm. Nice area in the middle of the M25, you might consider. <laughs> quite nice.